All right, so uh, so I'm working on carving a, uh, a jack-o'-lantern, a pumpkin, uh, for Halloween. Um, this year, we decided to go with an eagle. Uh, so to start with, I took a photograph of an eagle, uh, played around in Photoshop to make uh, to simplify the image. So it gave me a, a really strong, like high contrast image. Always works really well to start with if you're working from a photograph. Um, then when I started to carve, I uh, I started by flattening a side as much as I could. Um, just to help it, it makes it a little bit easier, particularly when transferring from a, uh, a sheet of paper uh, when you're using an image. If you're going free form and you know just work with the car the curves of the pumpkin as they are, this one was a pretty warty, um, lumpy pumpkin, so I decided to smooth it out as best I could. Um, from there, we started a process called low relief, uh, bas relief is the the art history term. It's what it's a very old style of working with sculpture because um, there's really only about a uh, inch, inch and a half to work with. Uh, up actually like pumpkin flesh. Uh, so I have to decide what's what's light and what's dark. That's why I work with a black and white image. I started thinking about uh, the lightest things I have to carve away the most, the darkest things I have to leave almost um, almost uncarved uh, entirely, and that's what gives it the shade. Um, and everything in between, it's just picking and choosing uh, different levels of depth in order to create the different shadows. Um, so just like working in any other um, art form, in two-dimensional art, we usually make like a value scale and you want to have a really powerful work that has a little bit of every value scale. For a pumpkin like this you want to have a little bit at each level. You want to have some dark darks but you also want to have some really bright lights and then transition in between each of those. Um, so it's just a process of slowly carving away and getting a little bit deeper but not getting too deep and making sure that I hit you know hit the, the highlights on this side, highlights on the beak and the eye, uh, but then also leave the low lights. In order to give it a little bit more oomph uh, I carved away the background where it was the darkest and then left it uh, fairly uncarved uh, at the lighter parts of it. So that gives it a little bit more contrast and even some like uh, some shadows on like the edge of the beak that help uh, that help define it. So yeah, now I'm just uh, doing some more work cleaning it up and I'll add the words War Eagle to the side of it. So, War Eagle, Happy Halloween. Ooh, oh, 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 oh.